Hey everybody, thanks again for another great session. Uh, we're going to start this video off with a, uh, a warm up that you can play along with us. Um, it's going to start off with your spider walk. That's your first finger going to the fourth fret of your low E string. And then you're going to play each fret consecutively. Index to the fourth, middle to the fifth, uh, third finger to the sixth, and pinky to the seventh fret. Again, that's. We're going to repeat that for every string. Cool. And now, when I'm playing, I'm making sure that I'm keeping my fingers nice and bent, my wrists forward, my knuckles to the ceiling. And I'm aiming for the inside fret every single time. I'm doing this nice and slow, just trying to gain speed later. Um, and right now, I'm just keeping in mind that it's most important that I make a perfect sounding nib. Okay, so we're going to play this together. We're going to keep it at a pretty slow tempo. Um, so I'm going to tap it out on my foot. Here we go. Again. exercise and remember the entire time I'm playing I'm remembering to pick back and forth alternate picking okay so this is the second part of your warm-up uh, during the class we learned the major scale um, in the key of A so it looks like this we're taking our middle finger putting it on the fifth fret of our low E string that is an A new okay so that's where it's gonna get its name key of A A new Alright, so now moving on, we're going to the pinky, going to the seventh fret of your low E string. Index now to the fourth fret of our A string. Now a half step up, middle finger, fifth fret A string. Pinky now to the seventh fret. Index now goes to the D string, fourth fret. Your ring finger now performs for the first time, 6th fret, D string, and we finish up with our pinky on the 7th fret of the D. Good. So, we begin and end on the exact same note. That's called the octave because there are 7 notes and 8. 8 is the octave, okay, in the major scale. Alright, so I'm going to play that uh, entire scale for you real quick. Um, just to demonstrate. And then we go backward. Very good. Okay, so uh, we're going to play that a few more times at a slower tempo for you to practice along. Ready? Here we go. One, and two, and three. Again. 
today's class, we talked about chord variations. Um, basically, what this is teaching is that you can take a very simple chord, such as D major, and you can take that chord and blow it wide open just by adding one finger. Okay, so, our D major chord, we're going to take that, but we're going to add our pinky to the third fret of our high E string. We end up with this sound. Okay, it's a very climactic chord, um, it's very evocative, it has a lot of active um, qualities to it. So we're going to play that one more time. Alright, so we learned another variation to the D major chord as well. We take the middle finger off. Okay, with this chord it's very important that we're bringing our, our knuckles forward, we're bringing our wrist forward as well. Knuckles are going up to the ceiling and they're very, very bent. Uh, what this does is it clears the high E. If our fingers aren't bent enough, then we end up with this, a silenced high A. Another thing that you can do to uh, clear that high A is make sure that the guitar itself is pressed right up onto your hip. That way you're not losing valuable space between your hand and the high E string. Okay, so we're going to hear that chord right now. Sounds like this. Okay, beautiful chord. So together, we can make a little melody just over D major chord. It sounds like this. We're going to have pinky, third fret, a natural D major. We're going to take the middle finger off, and we're going to put it back on. Okay? So we can make a, a kind of an exercise out of it, and it's an exercise that we're going to call the D variation exercise. Okay, it sounds like this. So, the last thing that we learned during the class was our pop strumming technique. Um, with absolutely no notes at all. The way we do that is we lightly press our hand against the strings. We're just kind of hovering the, the, the palm over top of the strings so that way we end up with dead notes. So we're muting everything. Okay, so we're going to practice the strumming technique, which is down, down, up, up, down, up. That strumming pattern allows us to start on the next bar with a down stroke. So I want you to practice over the course of this week. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. A great chord to practice that with is your E major chord. Uh, that's one of the chords that we learned on the last video, uh, not in class. So I'm going to take a moment to remind you of how to play that. Your index finger will go to the first fret of your G string. That's a G sharp note. Your middle finger will play the second fret of your A string. That's a B note. Your third finger goes to the second fret of your D string. That's an E note. We're strumming everything from the low E to the high e. Alright, so together you can play along with this, uh, this video. Um, me and Tyler are going to strum the E major chord with our pop strumming technique. Sounds like this. Thanks so much, everybody. We're back uh, at the Art Street Meeting House next Saturday at 11 o'clock. Um, I will email everybody to let you know whether or not we will be upstairs or downstairs. Um, have a great week of practice. Email rob at swiftlessons.com for any questions. Um, and be sure to check out the Facebook page uh, if you want to see some of the other videos that we've posted. Um, thanks again. We'll see you soon.